everybody welcome or welcome back today we just wanted to talk and share a little bit about our experience at the or being part of the CSD Pride Parade in Cologne 2022 it's been a long time um, with COVID and everything that we were able to or that this parade was able to take place and it was just amazing to be out again around so many people that are just such accepting loving just it's such a amazing like an amazing community and we went there with a girlfriend we are back now for a while we kind of just came back like that's where i still have more makeup i am very exhausted i try my best to keep a little energy for this video because it was an amazing day but i'm feeling extremely drained this was our makeup i think i did an amazing job with the makeup I also did our girlfriend's makeup or our fiance's makeup. Um, are those cute lesbian rainbow earrings? I wanted to put in like other uh, earrings, like the more like pride ones, but the the thing in the middle, like the, the this thing, was like to white for our earring or ear ear holes <laughs> and that's where we couldn't fit them in um so we put on these which are tight tiger eye stones i'm not sure why it's called in, called in english i think it's tiger's eye so tiger's eye in german it's like the translation of tiger's eye tigauge but I had such an amazing time. I, I really like, for me, baby, um, in general, June Pride Month and just the CSD is the most amazing thing I have ever been to. We went there first with a friend, um, our fiance and like we, um, four, five, six years ago. And since then we almost went every year except the last two due to what's going on in the world. But this year we were able to go back. We are gonna put in a few pictures. It's probably a little mess messy. I Um, so we've been back for the few for a little while. Um, the parade was quite long. It took um, we went or we left home at ten thirty in the morning, and now it's almost half past five or 1730 <laughs> it's around that so all this time we were outside um, at first before going we were thinking about taking our um, a walking aid um, because of uh, CFS but I forgot to ask where it was and then I was like I'm I'm able to do this and I think I just overestimated what we are capable of because after a while our like our legs are extremely painful our knees are extremely painful our hips are extremely painful our feet are extremely painful the whole time walking back to the central station and 
just standing and everything it was like I was like walking on fire. Like have you ever been at the beach and the sun has like like where like in the summer and you have this really 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 hot sand that you like cannot walk on. Like that was like every single step. Like my whole legs were hurting. It was they're still hurting. Um right now I'm sitting. Um but they were extremely extremely painful. Um on top of that our ankles are ex are also like just bad. I I took like sandals, um which was probably not the best choice regarding my ankles, but like because they're open at the ankle. Um like our like we are very, very prone to our feet just falling in every direction. And it wouldn't really have made a difference if we have if we would have taken other shoes, but still was I don't know. So our legs were burning and on fire. Our ankles were giving up on us and after a while our legs like turned completely numb and were shaking. Um which we then sat down because it was just not possible to stand. And for the way going back, we took breaks every few steps and like we walked a little bit until the pain was just like unbearable and then we sat down and waited for 5 to 10, 15 minutes to regenerate a little bit of pain tolerance which it was just, it was nice, it was nice. So for next year I'm definitely gonna take a walking aid. <sighs> that was horrible. Um, still had an amazing time though. Wouldn't change anything about that. I have a cute little band that treats für Menschenrechte or for human rights. Then I also wore a bracelet that I think Vivi made. It's one is like black, one side is black for like me when I have my thing, but also Vivi also wanted to have one, so she made a rainbow. Um just has like T I D A S D and C F S on the thing. I don't know. I mean, nobody's really reading these things, but just kind of helps me acknowledge some things. <laughs> I'm not even sure. But we did make some videos and or video clips. Also, have these little rainbows. And <laughs> look at the skirt. You always get a ton of sticky stickers. IKEA, my body, my rights, love, and the best one. The best one. The most best one. It reads, love who you are. So yeah, um, just know that you are, no matter who you are, um, your race, your gender, your sexuality, whatever you are going through, you are not alone. There are others like you, others that have went through similar things things that even though you aren't alone with your experience it doesn't make your experience less valid or less important your journey is important you are important and that's why i love 
Pride, like Pride Month, Pride Parade, because this whole community is a place of acceptance. It's a place where your gender doesn't matter. Like, it does matter, like, you are celebrating who you are, but for everybody around you, everybody who's there, it doesn't matter what you identify as, what your sexuality is, where you come from, whatever, you're just accepted. So, that's amazing. <laughs> we have been, like, we have had a hard time growing up, um, in general, also, we our sexuality regarding that but ah uh, <laughs> love you all